Hey y'all, I am super, super excited today. It has been one year, one year, one full year that I have not colored my hair. I can't believe it's been a year and what a ride it's been. It's been a crazy, crazy ride. I started my YouTube channel in late August of last year and I did it to document my gray hair transition because I had seen so many other women who were doing the gray hair transition and it was one of the things that really helped me make up my mind and make the final decision to start this gray hair transition to stop coloring my hair. I've been wanting to do it for years and I just never got the courage to do it. I just didn't have the nerve. But what I hadn't mentioned before is that when I started my YouTube channel, I was going through a lot of like pretty big life changes at the time too. I had just lost just a couple months before my beloved dog of 16 years. She was like my constant companion and at my side all the time. And my youngest daughter, so I still get teared up thinking about her. It's been a year. It's been a year. And um, we had her for over 16 years. And she was just, she was just part of the family. But, and at the same time, my youngest daughter had just days before turned 21 and started her full-time career. So she was no longer like around like she had been before. So... Things felt 500 ways out of sorts for me when I first started the YouTube channel. I wasn't sure I was going to like the gray hair transition. I wasn't sure I was going to stick with it. I wasn't sure if I was going to make my channel public or not. I wasn't sure if anyone would want to follow along. And I didn't really want to, you know, put it up and nobody follow along that would have made me feel kind of I don't know it was like kind of a a transition point in my life and um now I sit here almost eight months later and I have like right at 700 subscribers and have made such a real connection with so many of you so I want to say thank you all I really don't know where I would be without each of you. I don't know if I would have continued. I don't know. This channel has made an impact on my life. And um, part of the reason is because you're here. So thank you guys for being here. I can't get over the fact that it's been a full year and everything that's happened in this year. So enough of the mushy stuff. For those of you that are keeping track, I stopped full head hair coloring in May of 17 and I did root touch-ups only until May of 18. And in May of 18, I stopped the root touch-ups. In August, I started the YouTube channel at 15 weeks, no hair dye, and thought I was behind starting it at that point. I went week to week for several weeks, and then at the six-month mark, I started doing month to month, showing off the how much growth that I had. But this video is going to be a little bit different in that I'm going to go back over the whole process and show various clips of the differences and the changes because this is actually why I wanted to do the channel. I wanted to be able to see the differences. When you look at stuff every day, it's like, you know, watching your kids grow or something. It's harder to see. But then when you go back and look and you see, you can really see the differences. The, in the beginning videos, this is like barely even up here, this gray. And now it's, you know, it is where it is. So let's get to the video. I'm starting off showing a couple of pictures of my hair before I stopped coloring, probably about a year before. And here's a clip from the very first YouTube video I put up at about 15 weeks. And then we go straight into the six month dye free video. You can notice the length 
of my gray hair in that video versus where it is at the end. And then we go into the clips of the seven month dye free video. And then the eight month dye free video. Because my hair is parted in different places in these videos, you can't tell the exact grow out, but you can tell over the course of time. And now we're into the nine month dye free videos. And then into the 10 month dye free video. One thing I am noticing around this part is that it seems like the colored hair is fading a little bit more. It took a long time for that to happen, but it seems like it's might be getting quite a bit lighter, especially the part that was only done as root touch-ups. And here we are into the 11 month dye free video. This is where I wore my hair curly for the first time. It'll also be curly in the upcoming 12 month video that follows this. Now this month, since I am wearing my hair curly, it tends to do better on the second day. So I had washed it the day before, and this is me just taking it down from where I had slept the night before. I have a little bit of curl enhancer product in my hair now. And I will be putting up a video on some of the products that I use when I wear my hair curly. Again, this is the next day after I washed my hair, I let it air dry, pretty dry, and then I put it up overnight. Underneath, my hair is still really dark, but only at the nape of my neck. You can really see the three different colors here, the gray, and then where I did the root touch-ups, and then the ends are still really dark from the full head hair coloring. While the gray is all over, it definitely seems to be whiter right around my face. Still with the dark line down the center of my hair. I've noticed a lot of women who are let their hair go gray have that same or a very similar dark streak down the front of their hair. One thing that I really do like about my natural hair color is all the different colors that's in it. With the boxed dye that I used, it was very monotone for so long, and I really enjoy the the different colors of my hair. One thing that I have noticed as I've let my gray grow in is that it grows different lengths. I can have parts of it that are definitely not the same length as another part of my head. Okay, here I am just kind of straightening and smoothing out my bangs just a little bit. Just as part of styling my hair for the day. Even with my hair curly, you can really see the line of demarcation. 
it seems to have softened a little over time but when I first started my gray hair transition and I was wearing my hair straight you could barely even tell that there was a line of demarcation when I wore my hair curly and now I think you can really see that pretty heavily another view of the different colored stripes I have in my hair when I first started the gray hair transition I felt like my hair was growing really fast but as you can see that's about as far as it grew in the full year so it's not really that fast of growth at all lighter still around my face but there's not as much gray hair as I thought I was gonna have when I first started growing it out and particularly not as much as it looked like there was gonna be when I was still coloring my hair and needing to color as the white was peeking through you can really see how much gray hair I have underneath and the contrast with the ends of my hair here also the stripes in different colors and here I am just straightening my bangs a little bit Not nearly as much as I would do if I were wearing my hair straight, but just enough to try to give it some kind of style. If I can figure out a way, I may end up trying to wear my hair curly around my face some. I tend to really not like the way my hair curls right there when I wear my hair curly all over, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that or not, but I may end up trying that at some point this summer. And, of course, if I do, I'll let you guys see it, even if it looks terrible. I say this in a lot of my videos but just so you know it, I'm using a white rain hair spray container but it has Paul Mitchell freeze and shine in it And that's it you guys one year with no hair dye one year dye free okay I hope that all came out okay and that you were able to see a little bit about the changes that my particular hair has went through in one full year of no hair dye at all and there's a couple of things I want to say here. I still miss my dark hair. When I was putting together this video and I was looking through all of the pictures, I miss that. I really do. But I am embracing what I have now. I don't miss coloring my hair. I don't miss the color of my hair when I colored my hair. But I do miss having my youthful looking young dark hair. Um, I don't know if I'll ever not miss that. I think my husband probably kind of misses it a little bit, but we get older and this is me. This is the new me and I'm embracing that. I'm probably going to be putting out a video soon about a shedding problem that I'm having. I'm really like losing a lot of hair at this point. Um, 
because I'm shedding, I may end up getting my hair cut a little. I'm just going to have to see how that plays out. I don't want the ends to be really thin. I've always wanted long gray hair. That was like the goal. But like everything else, we try for stuff. But sometimes we have to take what we get. So um, if my hair continues to shed as much as it's been shedding, there may be a haircut video coming up. Just a little heads up. On this channel, I talk about aging as a female in a society that tends to really value youth and all that goes along with that, including my gray hair transition. I talk about diet, nutrition, exercise, things I like, things I don't like, products I've tried that work, products I've tried that don't work for me. So if any of this stuff interests you, stick around and hit that little red subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll be notified every time I put up a video. Thank you guys so much for being here and following along and watching. Thank you for your questions. Um, thank you for your advice. Thank you for being here and we will see you next time.